this is Sportman 16, and if you're wondering why you're seeing me sit like this, it's because, well, this video isn't exactly going to be a positive one. It's one that I didn't want to make, but I feel as though I have to make this just to get this off my chest, and I can try and make this video as short as possible, but it is in regards to the one certain individual, that being Verlissify, and basically, I was watching a few videos by Mega Crasher, and basically he was making basically like a three series video about basically Verlissify taking a pot shot at Mega Crasher. For what? Basically, because of, um, it was because of a tweet that Verlis did. That's basically him bullying Mega Crasher for his autism. Yes, you heard me correct. Verlis bullied Mega Crasher, aka Cory, for his autism. I forgot exactly what he called him, but it was like, it was like a raging, I don't remember exactly what the word is, but I know what it is. And when I saw that tweet, I literally had no words. I was just utterly speechless. Just knowing just how ridiculously scummy low standards Verlissify hats. It is scummy that Verliss would resort to be picking on Cory for his autism. That is just not right. Basically, anybody who who decides to bully somebody else because of a mental disorder is just downright scummy. Completely. And trust me, there are like a lot of other things that Berlis has done in the past year or so that just makes me just want to vomit with rage for the rest of my freaking life. It's pathetic. It's just straight up pathetic. And I am legitimately surprised that Verlis has like 350, 60, 70,000 subscribers. Though really, why the fuck do I care of how many subscribers Verlis has? And... Y'all have to remember, this is the kind of thing that happens when I make a face cam video like this. Completely unscripted, I make up everything up as I go, I hesitate, I mess up on my words, it's just how it is. Though maybe maybe there are some people of you out there who actually like these kinds of videos I make, talking about stuff. But the other things that Verlis has done in the past, it, it's, again, it's also just downright scummy and pathetic, like taking pot shots at other Poketubers, like Jethro text for that one Sun and Moon, I think it was a top 10 Pokemon Sun and Moon video when when there was like 11 Pokemon of Generation 7 that were released at the time, and Verlis calling it like just just a video that he made just, just to get views and ad revenue and whatnot, complaining about, I think it was <coughs> basically having like like mid-roll ads and whatnot saying that it was just milking it when he himself has done the exact same thing and practically does it for every single video that he makes. Complains about about him not Okay, what I should have been saying is that he claims that he doesn't do clickbait um, thumbnails and titles when in fact it clearly is because he basically just puts a picture of like a certain Pokemon, puts in like big bold letters. Like one that he was talking about was basically the one thumbnail that he made 
that was basically like a couple days after the revealing of Tapu Bulu, where he made a thumbnail, had like a part of the, the Alola region in the background, having a silhouette of Tapu Bulu, and then having big bold letters of WTF with a with a with I think is a big green arrow that that comes out of the WTF pointing directly at the silhouette of Tapu Bulu, and yet he says that's not clickbait. It it, it clearly is. It's something that I also do remember is that I was watching a clip from I think I do believe it was like a, a stream from Mr. Danger Boss, who was basically talking with Verlis, mano a mano, and out like near the end of that stream, Mr. Da Mr. Danger Boss just straight up lost it. Because he was seeing a thumbnail that Verlis made, which was basically new Pokemon game next month, which was a picture of Primal Kyogre on one side, Palkia on the other side, and an arrow that that came out of Kyogre and pointing to Palkia. And with big bold letters being new Pokemon game next month with a question mark. And Mr. Danger Boss was basically asking for list a simple question, is there a new Pokemon game next month, yes or no? And Verlis was doing so much to avoid answering the question that Mr. Danger Boss was practically yelling at Verlis for an answer. And I was seeing that, and I'm like, oh, dear God, man. Just answer us. Just answer the question, just yes or no, of a new Pokemon game next month. Oh, my God. And then there's also... Also, with the with the cheating, hacking, drama bullshit, and that right there is also scammy itself. It's like he, it's like it's like he's just wanting people to know, like th that these people are like cheating or hacking, and they're and they're just worthless scum. When in fact, my own thoughts of supposedly what you call cheating or hacking in Pokemon, that's not what I see. If people, if people use PK Hex to generate a, a like, a full-on legitimate legal mon, that isn't exactly cheating. That's just getting a head start on making a competitive team. I don't see that as cheating or hacking. Cheating in Pokemon would be like making making a Mega Rayquaza with 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 like. Like a completely impossible ability for Mega Rayquaza to have, like impossible stats, like like max stats across the board, like nine 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 or something. I, I don't know. And giving it like like a like a ridiculously broken item for it to hold, and having moves that it can't learn no matter what, then that right there is cheating. That's basically gaining an advantage over the opponent. What people are using in PK Hex is more or less just a head start. It's not exactly cheating. But yet you say it is. Sometimes I wonder if you actually have a brain in that thick skull of yours. And, and let's just say if you do have a brain in that thick skull, you're clearly not using it. Because you're just, you're just showing to the people that you're, 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 you're the idiot yourself. Also, with the fact of, with you just calling people, like, idiots, worthless idiots, retards for anyone who pretty much tries to prove you wrong, or, or when people try to prove you wrong, you just say that they're just spouting out false information or just spouting out lies, when you yourself are spouting out lies, believe me, it's not the... It's not the people that are retards. It's you, boy. You are practically full retard. Cause I've seen enough of you to know that you're you're just a full-on retard. And I don't regret saying that at all. Gosh, what else is there? But back to the initial thing. 
of you bullying Mega Crasher for his autism. Why did you decide to do that? Just why? It's like, did you did you just want to say something like that to make you to make yourself feel proud? Is that it? Were you just one to pick on Cory like that just for your own satisfaction? That's probably most likely it. Now, I know for a fact that later on he tweeted saying that he didn't he didn't fully like he didn't know at all that Cory was autistic. But if you didn't know that Cory was autistic in the first place, then you shouldn't have made that tweet calling him a raging autistic. Yeah, I actually remember the name now of what he called him. Calling him a raging autistic. And also saying like like he wasn't getting his points across when making rants about you. And saying like he had he he was basically going through a sad a sad life. Now believe me, when I saw his videos that he did, he pretty much said that he is running he's basically living a really damn good life for the stuff that he's doing. So it just shows that that you're just you're just literally nothing at this point. That's all I have to say. You're just you're just nothing in my eyes. For for the stuff that you've done, I I, I can't call you a Poketuber. You don't deserve to be called a Poketuber. You don't deserve to be called a YouTuber. You don't even be deserve to call to be called human. Yeah, I am saying things that I am not regretting to say. And another thing with you is that you should know that you've made mistakes in the past. Plenty of them. But the thing of it is, you're just not wanting to admit your mistakes. Believe me, we all make mistakes at some point in our lives. And believe me, I have too. Especially when it came to my teenage years. Okay, back, back in my teenage years, I have made plenty of mistakes. And I've, tr and I've done my best to right the wrong. And where I am now is that, yes, I still make mistakes. But I don't make them as frequently as I used to. I just really wish you could right the wrong and just, and just admit that you're wrong and just admit that you've made mistakes. But... He's not really going to do that, is he? No, he never will. He never will admit to his mistakes. And that's just going to be the continuing problem. That he is just going to continue to spout out all this bullshit and not admit that he did. That he did spout all this bullshit and never apologize. Like I, like I stated earlier, I am legitimately surprised that you have the amount of subscribers that you do. For, for, for basically spouting out all this bullshit. And also I just want to... And also I just want to say... That I... That I am... I am definitely not going to regret saying... And I don't care what happens after I say this... I may only have... 960 subscribers... But... I feel as though... I... And more of a man than you will ever be. Yeah, shots fired there, buddy Row. And you can go ahead and say whatever the hell you want. You can, you can go ahead and call me worthless. You can go ahead and call me a moron, or an idiot, or retarded, or or something even more dramatic. You can just you can just tell me to shut up and go drink some bleach. Just like you told that, that one that one person who made a disagreement on you on Volcarona being a Mega Lucario counter. Yeah, you you told him to drink some bleach. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. He didn't he didn't say bleach, he said egg whites, because apparently they're a base liquid when they're clearly not you dumbass. Oh and not only that, another thing that just popped in my head that that is just a little thing, but hurt pretty hard, is that a kid who was suffering from cancer 
asked you nicely to do a Pokemon battle with you. He asked you very nicely if you could do a Pokemon battle with him. And in your own way, you said, Nope. I'm not gonna battle you. That's just sad, dude. That you deny a kid suffering from cancer a Pokemon battle. That, that's why you're just literally nothing. That you, that you do not deserve the things that you got. The fact, I really feel like that you just don't deserve the money that you get for literally fucking with the YouTube algorithm. That knowing that you're making these videos just, just a little over 10 minutes long just so you can just get that sweet little ad revenue. And I know for a fact that you feel damn proud of the things that you do when in fact you shouldn't. You should, you should feel utterly ashamed. You should feel ashamed, man. You should feel ashamed. For the things that you have done. It's like you're you're either just nothing to me, or just low life scum. And for people who support you, defend you, they're just low life scum themselves. You know that I I also feel as though that the stuff that you say and do, just knowing for the fact that probably a good chunk of your audience is like younger viewers and this would influence them to be to be more like you saying that, that they can that they can say all the stuff that you say and get away with it that's a prop that that might be a problem that younger the younger audience would see this and they would probably want to do the same thing as you and not have to worry about getting caught seriously man I really wish that you could get your you're fucking act together, but you're not. I wish you could apologize for the things that you've done, but you won't. Because you're pathetic. You're just downright pathetic. I can say many of other things about you. Like, I could even call you every stinking cuss word in the dictionary, but I'm not gonna do that. It's the things that you do is the reason why I put you on my own little mental list of the people that I absolutely hate the most. With you and two other people who are a a certain a certain type of feminist and our current president of the United States. Yeah. Just gonna say that right there. I honestly don't know what else is there to be said. It's just, Felicify, you are, you are quite literally a terrible person. And I wish you could change that, but you're just not going to because you just, you just feel so proud of yourself knowing that you're just sitting up there on, on the high end of your castle on top of your throne, just looking down upon us little peasants, saying whatever the hell you want and feel proud of it. You're just, not, you're just nothing more than a scummy king on his throne. Looking down on us peasants. Like we're not like we're nothing. When in fact, you're nothing. And I am glad that I never gave respect to you in the first place. And you never will. And seriously, I could go on and on about about other things that Verlis has done. Like also lying to his fans and even calling his fans like idiotic retards and whatnot. But that would leave me talking for possibly about maybe maybe two or three hours. So even if even if Verlis does something completely and utterly dramatic bullshit like again, I just really don't want to talk about this guy because, really, Relicify ain't even worth my breath to be talking about. I only made this video here because I just wanted to get all the stuff off my chest. So, whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter. And I also want to say this. 
don't be expecting any more rant videos on the list because, like I just mentioned, he is not worth my breath. And please do not subscribe to me for this kind of video because rant videos are just something that I don't really appreciate making. Because even though I get it off my chest, it just kind of sort of paints a bad image on me. But like I said, I just did this because I just wanted to get off my chest and I just don't want to make any other rant videos towards Burlesque. I really honestly don't know what else is there to be said about Burlesque and how much of a big stinking pile of shit he is. He's just never going to be a better person, no matter what we say to him. He is not going to right the wrong. He is not going to apologize for all the things that he's done. It's just, he is just one big utter face palm where I feel like I would just face palm so hard that my, that my hand would just go right through my freaking head and out the back side of my skull. But I really don't want to say anything else about the list. So I think that'll pretty much do it. So thank you all for watching. And as always, my outro shall handle the rest. So I'll be seeing you guys next time. And for this, you are completing another piece of trash. And there will be a screenshot of a certain Pokemon that I made specifically for you in your honor of all your toxicity that you have spreaded. So anyway, I'll be seeing you guys next time.